Welcome to CEO Money. I'm Michael Yorba. Thanks for joining us. All right, I have Tony Kaufman, CEO KDDM, on the show with us today. Uh, Tony, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mike. Happy to be here. All right, give us some background on yourself, and then I want to dive right into some of the latest endeavors that you and KDDM is is doing. Well, you know, I've had I've had some fun. I tell you, I, uh, I'm going on on 64 and enjoying every bit of my retirement. Ha ha ha. Okay, <laughs> so um, KDDM is a uh, digital marketing agency that specializes on speakers, coaches, healers, and authors, uh, and trying to get them out of a hobby life into a business life to really make it run and be successful. Uh, we specialize in branding and identity of these uh, of these entities once they become businesses, and I consider them a business when they have uh, at least three consecutive months of five thousand dollars plus income. So that's kind of what we start, and we know that they're solopreneurs and entrepreneurs, and they just need a little bit of help. Uh, we specialize in mind mapping, so we do their two, three, five year roadmap to see how their business is going to grow. We love product launches. Uh, that's kind of, uh, I love doing that with books, uh, and I love doing that with, uh, with actual programs, courses, and, 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 you know, in effect, I love serving our community, and that's what we do. Tell me about the awards that you've won so that our audience gets a, a well-rounded view of your background. Well, this crazy woman, uh, uh, I don't even know how half of this happened, but I was appointed to head the presidential transition team for President Bush Sr., uh, back in the 90s, and uh, that was a selection of what was told to me the best computer trainer in town. So I became President Bush's personal computer trainer and uh, helped with the wiring configuration and all of the security having to do with his office, his home, his library, and the home in Kenny Bunkport. So very proud of that. Uh, very, very, um, it, it's so funny when you're doing all this, it doesn't, you don't see the magnitude of it. And then now that it's been, you know, 10, 20 years, uh, it's just, it was really an honor uh, to be associated, affiliated, and in the office, I mean, two doors down from him for months. So that was kind of cool. Uh, I also um, was voted one of the top 10 women in computing in Houston. Um, and I, uh, I've, I've done, I had multiple awards from the Houston Business Journal for special events and meeting planning. And, uh, and I was a minority business women owner for a couple of years, the awards, the top 100. So um, so now we're starting again with this little company called KDDM, and I'm absolutely having a blast. Thank you so much for asking. I can tell that you're having a blast. Tell me what KDDM and CitySpeaks.us is doing. KDDM is Kaufman Design Development Marketing. So we are. that's what we do for our clients, and we have, we've become part of them. I like to put it this way. Our solopreneurs and entrepreneurs don't normally have a back office. So what they do when they link up with KDDM is we become their back office. We have the graphics department, the social media, and the media, and, and all the fun stuff that you get to do on the Internet nowadays. You know, we optimize your LinkedIn profiles. We optimize your Facebook. And, uh, and we've just, uh, we're just we bringing in a secret weapon uh, pretty soon about Facebook that, uh, that will turn that into your lead generation and your ability to charge as they sign up for a consultation or a briefing or whatever it is that your company offers, we'll be able to offer some pretty exclusive Facebook uh, treats on apps. I'd sure like to be able to participate with that. Tell me about City Speaks. Oh my gosh, City Speaks is from the heart. It started off as Texas Speaks. It was to be uh, a leader in every city that could host a safe place for people to come in, whether, I don't care if you've talked on TED Talks or if you this is the first time you've ever been on a stage, you come in and it's a safe space. So people sign up to talk three ways, five minute talk, three minute talk, and the one minute pitch. So you can you know talk about your company or talk about yourself. And we have had the most incredible diverse uh, uh, speakers show up just out of the blue. We've had a 15 year old talking about her family and, and what she went through and, you know, and, and, and some abuse that happened and how she got over it. We've had an 18 year old talk about how much time she spent trying to get her head together and had been through psycho wards, you know, for years and years and how she broke that barrier. 
Um, I've had uh, uh, a woman who makes the most incredible teas, and it's, a, it's still a secret. We don't know about it yet because she hasn't released. But her goal is to create shelters for homeless women. And uh, through her tea, we have just an incredible array. We have turned this into CitySpeaks.us because uh, I, when I talk about uh, Texas Speaks, and we, we've already got about 12 cities involved, by the way. Um, when I talk about it, I've had people from Orlando and people from Vegas and people from Canada saying, I want, I want, to, I want to run a branch. <laughs> and so it's really, we are looking for leaders all over and it's growing faster than, it's catching, it's catching wildfire. I, I can see that it would, you have brilliant ideas. What, what are you doing with Pink Petro? Oh my gosh, one of my favorite people in the world is Katie Minart. And, and she's an inspiration to so many women because there are so few women, especially at the CEO levels of energy companies all around the world. She's one of them, and Pink Petro is there. And I've attended a couple of her events, and I keep up with her on LinkedIn because she has a great publicist. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> but but uh, Katie uh, creates all of these events to help promote women in energy. And that was our theme as we as we shot. And, you know, my radio show and podcast is called The World Class Mentors. And that show is dedicated to finding people like Katie who share and give and give and give. Yet they still remember who brought them. So what I do is I take, you know, 10 minutes at a time during our show to figure out, to celebrate who you are, to celebrate what I call the dance with the one who brung you, who was your mentor and then to celebrate how you're paying it forward and what legacy you're leaving. So that's the worldclassmentors.com and we've got uh, an incredible, we've, we've got 12 episodes out already uh, and each one of them digs deep into the celebrity to find out who they are, what really makes them tick. And I love it when they mention names of people who, who were your mentor. Uh, you know, sometimes they're your grandma, sometimes it's a third grade teacher, sometimes it's a janitor in a high school. You know, but they made a difference to some of these folks, and I love to celebrate that. Congratulations! How about you, Mike? Who was who was your who was your mentor? Me. Who did you aspire? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody taught me. I had to learn it myself. Now, congratulations on that endeavor. What's what are you doing with Red M? Uh, there is a gentleman that we just finished interviewing. Uh, his name is Tim Sensenig, and I believe his interview was out Monday. Uh, so it's uh, Tim Sensenig. Tim is the CEO of a company called TMS First. And uh, brilliant, brilliant gentleman. I mean, at the moment you start talking to him, you recognize that you're at another level. Um, Tim has, is dedicating his life and his companies towards a group of people in energy who have high, high-end people in energy who are dedicating resources, time, and money to helping the, uh, the human trafficking in Houston. And I was stunned when they told me that the numbers are about 67,000 people being trafficked through Houston. And and they, they formed a union with the Port of Houston so that they're helping stop this. Um, they have founded uh, three or four ranches that I know on around Houston where people, either children or women who have been abused, get to go and build themselves back up. They have psychologists, psychiatrists, everything they need for help at these ranches, and they, they get to live there for a little while until they get themselves out of the trauma that they've been through. Uh, just great things happening in Houston. I, I just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm humbled uh, to be able to bring some of this stuff. Before we close out, is there any other events or things that you want to bring out on this segment today? Well, uh, Texas, uh, Texas Speaks, which is by Houston, Austin, San Antonio, Dallas, League City, Clear Lake, they all have leaders now. We are looking for leaders for CitySpeaks.us. And if you feel like you can lead a group, have a safe space, I would love to hear from you. Go to CitySpeaks.us and, and apply to be a leader or apply to host an event. I'll sign up today. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Thank you. Adios. Adios. All right, you've been watching CEO Money. Thanks for joining with us. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and sign up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching again.